Hello there, YouTube. It's Masashi Masashi des. Welcome to my new Let's Play series. This time I'm playing good game called Wasteland 2 from In Exile Studios. This is a game that I really wanted to play. I have just played just a little bit, so I know the basics, and I'm really really enjoying the basic start. But I want to see. I want to see rest of the game. I have interesting characters in my mind that I would like, like to play. Let's go and start the game. I'm doing uh, two uh, custom characters. rest of the team would be gathered from the characters from the game. But let's start with the two characters. I was thinking to create these two persons that have found each other. In desert, they've helped each other and they started to survive together, even though their mind mindsets are completely different. But they need each other's skills to survive. One would be like basically the action, action-based guy who wants to you know fight. is good good in guns. Good with guns. Well, basically just that. But all right, that's the base for it. Okay, I guess that's for the skills. This one would be a guy. Um, that's this is our Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson. It shall be. And here we go for the another. Uh, I'd like to her to be like the more bit more intelligent or considerate character while the Mike Johnson is like this uh, you know outgoing I want to let's go let's go but and the uh, female character would be hey let's let's think let's think this true let's let's just hold on hold on your horses type of character so I would like to her to be uh, using mostly melee weapons and the Mike is like the range ranged type of guy if the mic you know gets hurt she can help him to survive all right let's 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 go with her that shall be our Jane Jensen and Mike Johnson here our journey begins here we go it just seasoned because I think it's hard enough to have just two people in a team. Yeah. I, I, I think I think they, I, I hope I can bring the both both sides of the characters through my role playing. All right, let's let's try and go. Only the ne only thing necessary for Tomb of Evil that good men do nothing. Gerald Vargas. <laughs> what comes after the end? I don't know. Neither did they. They were just an army engineer battalion, constructing roads and bridges deep in the middle of the Arizona nowhere. They didn't know why Armageddon had come. They'd heard radio chatter about an attack on some space-based missile platform. But who had attacked it, or why? No one knew. What they did know is that the politicians and the generals it finally ended the world. Now, everything was gone. They took over a federal prison for a fort, kicked out the convicts, got busy starting from scratch. Maybe it was an act of mercy. Maybe they figured that the prisoners would die out in the harsh new world. Whichever, it came back to bite the engineers in the ass. Cultists, criminals, cannibals. 
they've been living with the fallout ever since. Good people had survived too, called for help in the night. And those engineers, those common soldiers, could not stand by and see them die. So they came out of their fort and they helped the survivors defend their homes. And for that, they earned a new name, a proud name, the Desert Rangers. Yeah. That's we are about to join. Now, Rangers, I know at times it seems our cause is hopeless. And I know it's hard to say goodbye to a brother in arms. But I want you to know something else. That no ranger who dies in the line of duty will ever be forgotten. No, I never forget. Nor will he have ever died in vain. Or unavenged. Here we go. Thank you, recruits. Alright, what you have see, Mr. Wabagas. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party when you hardly knew the man. Appropriate too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. What's the duty? Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option but the Desert Rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a range war out there from becoming straight up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is gonna have to lead the charge on this one. I wanna know about the Ace. No, about, I need to know about the mission. I want to know what happened to Ace die. How did Ace die, sir? Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been giving us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal, but sadly Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower, and his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. Yeah, and what about the mission, sir? The mission sir? is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, you'll find the other. You said about the repeater you need, sir. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. The signal is a threat, sir. The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers, specifically. It said it was coming for us. You think the logbook was stolen, sir? Don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person Shut when up. he was found. I want to go with the back Look mission. It. it might have some clues as to his death. I want to go back to the mission. Why don't you tell yes, about call him, sir? on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. Where is the area located, sir? It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. There Thank you. you. Go. How do we connect to the Citadel, sir? Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a Desert Ranger, and we won't let you in. Let me know about the towers, sir, first. I'll give you the locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. 
Let's go try to find them. Good luck out there, recruits. So, Mike, uh, what should we do? Um, there's a shovel. Let's pick that up. We may need that. Are we all, all right to leave? Yes, we have to go on the mission right away. But I want to learn more about the Ace. What happened to him? He, he seemed to be on some specific mission. Ah, uh, just want to do the what the General Vargas has told us. Just chat. I want to know what's all behind this. Well, we can do both at the same time. You know, I, I'm I'm following the orders, and you just you you speak to people, and I I just do what I do. All right, fine. Let's go there. N no, I want to talk to the person over here. Hello, sir. How are you? Who are you? Can you do this? You won't get through this door. Of course, I'm interested. What you have? This is a mule. That would be perfect me. We do promise. I, I, I make sure we keep that promise. All right. So see what I told you? When you talk to people, you can gain good things. Do you understand? Oh, all right, all right. Let's let's just move on. All right. What is in our inventory? And you, you can take that pistol that man gave, gave to us. You know how to shoot. All right, all right. I take it. This could be useful. Wait, there's a sale, saleswoman. Can we talk to her? We should go on the mission already. But she could tell us mo much more about things. Maybe sh she could have something good to sell. Ah, fine, fine, fine. Just get on with it. Well, hello there, recruits. Welcome to Solvik's Sundries. Happy, happy to trade you whenever you like. An honor, honor to make acquaint, acquaintance. Always nice to see new, new faces around here. And a pleasure to make sure they have everything they need before they head out in the big bad world. Do you have anything to trade? I don't know what to do. Have enough money to buy anything. You have a nice selection there, but I, I am afraid we don't have enough money to trade with you. What is your story anyway? Come on, we have to go on already. Jane, come on, let's go. Just for a moment, okay? Tell me about the Citadel. I do love it, love this place nowadays. It used to be full of some cookie birds. Look, we have to really, really go, okay? Jane, you can talk with her later, all right? We just want to find what happened to Ace. Fine, fine. Sorry, Mike is always just pain in the ass sometimes. Let's go. Talk to you later. Phew, thanks God. There's a can. I want to take it. No, don't take that. It's just a prank, don't you see? It's just a prank. Those fools are pranking you. That goat will hit you in the butt if you do that. Ah, it's, it's, a, it's absolutely nothing. It's just fine. See? I told you, Mike. You're such a fool sometimes. Now those recruits are laughing at you. What? They're laughing at me? What are you talking? Just, just shut up. All right? All right? That wasn't even funny. It kind of was. <laughs> shut up, you two. Let's just try to check what uh, what's ever here. Who are you? Have anything to say? Uh, okay. There's something buried around under that pile. I would like to check it out. Check it out. All right. I've got some some useful things there. Good for you, but you, you said yourself that we should keep going, all right? Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do we have everything what we need? I would like to see this road going down to the south. I, want, I would like to check it out. Come on, we have to go. But I want to search things, all right? Is it all right? Well, just, just quickly, all right? Then we leave, all right? Uh, how long, how, how long do, do I have to keep on with this? <laughs> God damn it, Ace. You never should have put down the wrench and picked up the gun. Hey, th that w woman, she, she said something about Ace. I want, I want to talk to her. No, we should go now, okay? We should not evolve with this anymore. <sighs> Please. She seems to be lot, in a lot of pain. I want, I want to talk to her, alright? Alright. Just be 
be quick, all right? I, I'm quick as I can, all right? Don't worry. Sorry about the waterworks. I'm still pretty broke up over Ace. I'm Angie. You kids must be the new recruits old Vargas trained up. Lord, y'all just babies. We saw it at your uh, Ace's funeral. You knew him well. They all had, but this one, one man. Ace wasn't even a ranger, not at first. He work, worked as a driver and mechanic for the Bri farm Brigo up in Vegas. And when, when the base Kochas started sending its death machines into the desert, Brigo sent Ace to South to recruit robot fighters. We met him in, in quads. He pissed somebody off out there and they'd lock him up. We sorted that out. And he started to running with us, helping us fight coaches. I never stopped. Gen Vargas eventually gave him the uniform and the hat. I, I, I don't think he ever formally signed on. He was just always there. And now, now he is. God damn it, Ice. I knew this one was trouble and knew it. He thought Ace's mission was in, was trouble. He was working on on same things Vargas has you working on, trying to track down radio signals from beyond the edges of map. All seemed a bit boring and scientific to me. But then Ace started saying he thought someone was following him. I asked him to l let me come come with him. When I met him at R Rail Nomads to give him the repeater units, but he told me to go back to base. He said he was just jumping at shadows cause those radio broadcasts had spooked him. I should have gone with him. Why didn't I go with him? Talk about those repeater units. Alright, it's enough. It's enough, alright. Let's just go and Jane, alright? Ah, I'm sorry. I, I would really like to hear more, but I think we have to keep going. Sorry. Say, listen. Vargas asked you to look into Ace's death because he thought I was too upset to be professional about it. He didn't want me going off half-cocked and shooting up all of Arizona looking for his killer. But I gotta find this guy. Ace and me, well, we've been fighting side by side for nigh on 20 years. I'm not letting him die unavenged. So, well, I know it's going against orders, but if you let me tag along and be in at the kill, well, I'll help you find your feet out there. Maybe give you a few pointers along the way. I may be old and slow, but I know the waist's like the back of my hand. What do you say? I say we shouldn't take her. We have to go on, as the one said. We have to go on the mission. No, no, Mike. I want to give her her revenge. We have to. We have to take her with us. She won't be dragged. She would be actually helping us. Because we are just rookies in this, all right? <sighs> You're such pain always, come on. Just wanted to go in the mission. I know, I know, but she's coming with us too, so if we run into trouble, she can really, really help us as well, alright? Let's just take her with us. <sighs> if it's better, just, just fine, fine, fine. It's alright, just fine. Take her, take her with us. Alright, it's fine, come with us. Angela? Cool. No need to tell Vargas why I joined you. If anybody asks, I'm just helping you get oriented, all right? Yes, of course. You're you're just as long as with us as the mission acquires. I don't want to uh, anyone to be dragged for us. Come on, Mike. Let her be with us as long as she wants to be. It's good good change for her too, so he doesn't stay sad and maybe she can think other things than mourning forever. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's move on. All right, let's go, let's Ranger go. Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Roger, Echo One, just making sure your radio is working. I'll be your... Remember, your main priority is to recover the repeater units Ace was carrying. Once you've got the devices, you'll be headed to Ag Center and High Pool to install them. But we'll talk about that after you acquire the repeaters. We must, of course, bring Ace's killers to justice. But right now, that's secondary to discovering the location of that signal. Right, Roger, Roger that. Echo One, carry on. Let's head on where the Vargas was saying was just. Oh, the combat. 
Let's try to avoid if you can. Oh, that's nice. Oasis. There's a radio tower. Let's go to see what happened to Ace. Roger that, Echo One. When you reach the area where Ace's body was found, give it a good going over. The folks that picked him up said it looked like he crawled there. Maybe you can find some tracks leading to where he was attacked. Copy? Copy that, sir. 10 4 Echo One and check in. Let's go follow the road. Oh god, there's blood. I'm so sorry for you, Angela. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Wait, Mike, there's something shining in the bush. Hold on, hold on, Mike. Let me just check it out. Oh, it's the it's it's Ranger Star. Holy hell. So we have really found his trace. Let's keep on following the trails. What is going on here? I want to pay. No, I want to just fight these fools. No, we should just pay them, alright? Don't do anything rush. These are just bandits. I can see them. No, you can't be pay. No, I'm going. I'm shooting the bastards right now. Mike, why did you do that? You fool. These are just weaklings. Ow, that hurt. Ow. You're just, just so stupid, Mike, sometimes. Just let me handle this. It's not that bad. We have seen this before. I, I'm just backing up. I'm not telling Angela this. If anyone comes, I just hurt them, alright? See. God damn you, Mike. You're such an idiot. We wouldn't have to need to kill them. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. We can take their gear. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. But you don't have to be so such a rush all the time. We could just negotiate with them. All right. Come on. It is over already. And here's the radio tower. The Vargas was saying. Let's check what is. What's this all about? There's some blood on there. It must must have been coming this way. Oh, we can hear a radio signal. Is well, let this... me tell you, Matthias is raw, friend. Who is that? Is is what is that? And I don't know, I don't know. Matthias is raw. That is weird. Stretch. It's odd to hear the sounds. The sounds true. I don't get the transmitting here. They kill those so-called upholders of justice. The desert rangers. Somebody's really, really pissed off. Yeah. Let's let's see where this path is taking us. All right, all right. Wait, there's a, something in the ground. It's it's a logbook. It says it's a logbook. Or at least few pages of him. Let's 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 keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. All right. Jane, you're such such drag sometimes. Come on. There's some oil in the ground. What on earth has happened here? What is there? Let me see. What? It's a metal leg. Like it looks like it's from a robot. Robot-like thing. That's just that's weird. Okay, there's some trails in the ground. Just let's just try to follow it. All right, let's just keep on. So I have the feeling that Ace have evolved something very very sinister. There's a cave, the trails are leading there. Let's just see what is in here. Dark, dark, murky cave. What is here? What, there's something laying in the ground? Oh, there's some trauma kits. Jane, they are for you. They are for you, dear. Thank you, thank you, Mike. They they will be all they will always be handy, especially when you're such a dumb with this, this kind of stuff. Shut up, Jane. I just wanted to say say the truth. Yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's see what's what's in, more in this into this cave. Whoa! Hold on, Mike. There's a massive massive frog there. 
mutated frog. We should be very, very careful, alright? If I just... An Angela could prepare for attacking, okay? And I just... Attack the frog, okay? Alright? Just a little bit closer. A little bit more closer. And... Froggy, froggy. Froggy, froggy, froggy. Froggy, froggy. Oh my god, I'm not sure this is working. You get out of there. No, you aggravated frog. Come on. Come on, Mike. Now he's coming straight for us. Big toad. Oh, take a little bit distance, Angela. This fight is tough. I can handle this. I can handle this. Right? Big toad. No. Ow. I'm dying here. You fool. You absolute idiot. Ow. I'm shooting the frog. Just shooting the frog. Don't worry, it's alright, it's alright, it's just fine. Ow! That really, really hurt. I have to heal myself up a little bit and just walk away. God damn you, Mike. Just, I don't know, how, how can I trust you? You're such an idiot sometimes. It's coming at us! Ow! God damn, that frog is horrible. Ouch. I'm taking care of the frog. Just just trying to stay alive, alright? Ow. 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 Hey, my weapon is gone. God damn you, frog. Just die, frog. Ah, this is bad. Just terrible weapon. Just. I have to heal myself up just a little bit. I can't. I can't survive otherwise. I'm coming with Angela. She seems to know what she's doing. Ouch. I'm coming up. Don't worry. I'm shooting. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you, Froggy. Don't you worry. Ah, he's just such an idiot sometimes. Take cover, girl. Can we do this? Can we really do this? Hit it once and run back. Ow! That hurts. Let me finish this. Okay, let, let me just shoot it so. Die, frog! Ugh. You idiot, Mike. Shot me. Almo almost get us killed. We could do. We could have done this much more, you know. We could just think more. Come on, Jane. I killed it. We could kill the frog. You only had just a few scratch. A few scratch. You almost killed me with your bloody bad shot. You're you're such an idiot sometimes. I stop whining, you children. Pick up what the frog has and just check what let's, what's left on his cave. Let's do this. Oh, I got my weapon back. You could have this machete, Jane, for for the compensation that I almost killed you. I'm terribly sorry. I'm very sorry about that. I didn't mean to hurt you. Let's just keep on. What's that? Oh, there's there's a robot. What on earth? Near the mechanical man's steel case. Scattered all across the ground. I miss Jane gears spare parts there's a hand drawn map and torn a notebook page fluttering in the breeze what is here oh there, there's the repeater units uh, Mike Mike there wait for a moment moment there seems to be something lying in the crown too there's more of the pages of Ace's lo logbook oh there's there's mention of a nomad's camp we we should check that sometime some le little bit later. Uh, I think we are done. I think we are done here. We survived from this horrible massive frog, and uh, yes, I I'm I'm sorry that I almost killed you, Jane. Uh, well, Mike, I I'm I'm okay, but don't you don't you dare do that again. Luckily, luckily I I can bandage my myself, but. 
If you get hurt, and I'm no, I'm dead, we are both dead. You know that. You know that, Mike. Yes, I try to be careful next time. Let's continue. All right. I think we can end this episode here. Well, all right, YouTube. This was the first episode of the Wasteland 2. Two lovers in the Wasteland who, well, <laughs> doesn't come so well along together, but they need each other because they help can help each other. I had lots of fun think doing this. I hope you had fun and I hope you like this video and like if you like subscribe if you like this was masashi masashi des see you guys in next episodes bye bye matane